Healthcare, got a chance to voice their frustration in front of a congresswoman and the VA. Alan Martin joins us now to look at what answers they're getting and how bad the medical need is. Yeah. I mean, this has been going on for quite some time now. It, it, it has, and it's nationwide, because we're talking about medical care and mental health care. Congresswoman Jackie Spear got quite an earful in the city, and after hearing from one Iraqi war vet suffering with post-traumatic stress disorder, KTIX-5 was able to get him some badly needed appointments with VA doctors. Every day is a struggle for Terry Glass. I'm scared to die and I'm scared to live. The 51-year-old former Navy medic saw plenty of tragedy during his two tours in Iraq. There are faces that I still see. There's especially this one person that haunts me all the time. He had no face left, but he was screaming. He was still alive, but he had no face left. He bothers me every day. Images like that of a faceless man and many other horrors left Glass with PTSD severe depression, even nightmares. A 2012 study by the Veterans Administration itself showed that since 9-11, 30% of war veterans being treated by the VA suffer from PTSD. That is a disaster waiting to happen, okay? All right. At a recent town hall meeting at San Francisco's VA Medical Center, I hear that a lot from veterans. Congresswoman Jackie Spear, along with other healthcare professionals, listened for hours as veterans described their frustrations with the VA medical system. I think that it's really sad that we have to have this form in the first place. An understandable reaction since the average wait for a veteran seeking a first-time appointment at a VA hospital is about two months. That is our challenge here. VA Medical Center Director Bonnie Graham says San Francisco is lucky. The VA here attracts and retains good doctors but other areas see high turnover. Because those areas aren't necessarily the most desirable to live in. In Terry Glass's case, the Navy vet has been offered appointments with two doctors. News he's grateful for, but at the same time, doesn't want it to lead to false hope. You're gonna get everything that you deserve. Housing, medical, you won't want for nothing. I want for something. The VA says the average wait for its new patients in California has been nearly two months. It's about one month in San Francisco, but the goal for the VA is no more than two weeks.